Hey there, this is Jonathan, and if you've been following along, you have seen that we have done a lot of different WordPress templating tasks. We've started from the most basic, simple WordPress template you can possibly create, a little bit about menus and custom functions, um, custom fields, even custom templates, themes, the template hierarchy, and child themes, and we have finally gotten to the most important thing, and that is working with loops with WordPress. So there's a couple things to be aware of. I have already created a theme that has a lot of different files here and we're going to be going through these pages here in the tutorials. The pages that I have which have default queries and then get post, query post, and WP query. Um, and then we'll also see how that applies to a page like the category for news or just a single news item. So before we get going too much, I do want to point out one of the important things about the structure of this WordPress installation. And that is that I have six news items, or six posts rather. Three of those are in the category of news, three of them are in the category of events. Now this is going to matter when we go to our page and we actually see those output. So we're going to look at the page sample loops first, so let's take a look at this code. So the very first thing to look at are the different sections that I have here. Um, these are all the different loops that I've created. Now this first one, PHP the post, gets whatever is the content of the post that we're trying to get on the current page. And then I can show the title and the content based upon that. Now the problem with doing this is that this is not really a loop. And so um, it works, but it's not a good idea. And the reason why it's not a good idea is you'll see that as soon as I run it, it works fine. But right after it, it does not allow that content to work. So that's just something to be aware of. So really, it's better to use what's called the, the regular loop that you see pretty much everywhere else. And it goes like this. PHP, if have post, while you have post, get the post. So this have post while have posts checks the database to find out if there are any posts that match the category or page that you're on. And while we have content to pull from the database, let's get that content and run a loop of it. And through that loop, we're able to get the title and the content and display it. And then we end the loop with end while and then end the conditional statement that says, if we have posts. Let's go ahead and end that as well. So this is a very basic loop that all it does is output an H3 in content for whatever page we're on or if we're on a page that has multiple um, posts such as a news page then it will get all of the different posts. Now we haven't sorted it for anything. We haven't only we haven't decided to get only five posts or something like that. So we're kind of at the mercy of what WordPress puts out as a as a default. So I don't always suggest using these default loops unless it's just for getting page content. Anyway, we can add a little bit more to this. So we can say if we have post while we have post, get the post, get the title and content, and then this has end while and else. And the else says if we were not able to find anything, if we don't have any posts, then let's show some other content and then we end the if statement as well. Down here it has an end while. This one says if we have post, while we have post, get the post and it gets the title and the content and then it, the after that it has end while and what that does is that finishes the loop. So the um, appropriate the thing to do after we have an end while is possibly put our page navigation or something like that. Then the else would say hey if you don't have any loops or if you don't have any posts, let's show something that says you don't have any loops or posts. So here's an example of how a WordPress loop might look. Here you say, if you have posts, while you have posts, gets the post, gets the title and the content. You say end while, which means let's end, finish the loop and then show the navigation after that. Then we have else. If we didn't have any posts, then we say no posts were found and then we end the if statement. So here's how it looks in a page. And that's basically it. All I have, since I'm on a page itself, I'm just getting the content of this page. And you can see I've added a little bit of code up there. 
but um, <clears throat> pretty simple for the loops. Now we're going to start to look at some other things with these as well because loops are not very powerful unless you have queries that go with them and the queries allow us to look for a particular type of post um, whether it's a category or maybe an author or something like that and we can search the database for those and get back those results and then run the loop and you'll see that in the next set of tutorials.